Hey guys, Mitch here. Today we're going over 2013's best lock screen tweaks for your device. Up first is Atom. Now Atom extends the use of the lock screen by allowing you the option to choose any of six applications that you want to launch right from your lock screen. Now in addition to those six applications, you also have an unlock button, which is just a flip of the finger that will unlock your device. So the six main uh, apps that do come standard with Atom include the phone, Safari, you have your mail application, and choosing one of those will take you directly to that specific app. We also have the camera app along with the messages, and last but not least is the music controls. Now in the settings for Atom, you can customize those six applications to any of the six apps that you want. So these can be your favorite apps so that you can access them in a quick and efficient way. Jelly Lock is an awesome lock screen replacement that gives your iPhone the Android Jelly Bean lock screen, which features a lock that you can drag to the edge of a circle to unlock your device. Now in addition to that, we also have the functionality of the camera, which is just swiping over to the left. Now in the settings, you can choose between the four different themes, including the white, which is default, you also have a solid white along with an iOS theme and a black theme. Now in addition to that, we also have the app shortcuts which allow you to choose up to three different apps that will be your favorite apps that you can access directly from the lock screen. So you can go ahead and choose your three different apps and then if you hit the little unlock button, this will be displayed at the top so you can easily swipe over to them and they will take you directly to that application. Up next is Luna. Now Luna improves the way you use and enable iOS's Do Not Disturb mode. Simply start by pulling down from the top of the screen to reveal a crescent form, then release, and you can simply do it again to disable Luna as well. Now this can be accessed directly from the lock screen and the notification center as well, and just allows you to enable the Do Not Disturb in a more seamless and efficient way. Now Luna also extends the functionality of the Do Not Disturb to more than just the lock screen. So when you have your device unlocked, the notifications will arrive in a form of a non-obstructive nocturnal banner rather than Apple's iOS banners which will interfere with the Do Not Disturb mode. Pluck is a simple jailbreak tweak that adds a button in the media controls view when you double tap the home button. Now when you tap on it, it will release the iPod window where you can quickly pick a song and it will instantly start to play. Now you can also pick multiple songs to have them play in a list or add all the songs to the queue and they will be queued up in your iPod view and you also have access to the play slash pause, the forward and the back so you can just cycle through your music to see what song you want to actually play. So it's a great way instead of having to unlock your device going into the music playing to actually pick a song. Now in the settings you can enable or disable some of the uh, multiple songs, kill switch along with the position either on the left or the right. But just plug in general, it just allows you to have the iPad window right when you tap on it. Lock screen toggles gives you easy access to toggles by just swiping away from the lock screen clock. Now you will be presented with some toggles including the respring, the flashlight, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, and the do not disturb. Now if you swipe down from that bar, this will give you some additional toggles that you can choose from. And you can also rearrange the order simply by just swiping them up or down. Now for me, I like to keep the ones that I use the most at the top, numbers 1 to 5. So you can throw your respring, your reboot, your flashlight, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth mode, all those at the top so that when you swipe over from the clock on your lock screen, you will be presented with those toggles that you can easily click on in one quick and efficient way. Lock bar settings is a simple jailbreak tweak that gives you access to some necessities of your phone including a quick Wi-Fi button, your flashlight, Bluetooth mode, and your respring button. Now you can access these by just swiping up from the slide to unlock bar or a double press of the home button. Each of these settings can be configured in the settings for lock bar settings, but it just gives you a quick and efficient way to have access to those four toggles that you most likely will use a lot on your device. Last but certainly not least is Piano Passcode. With it, you can unlock your iOS device with some beautiful music that you play on the piano. So that works pretty good. Let's go ahead here and lock my device and play the melody one more time. And there you go. So in the settings for Piano Passcode, you can change the passcode by using the numbers 1 through 7. And then after you make any changes, you will have to respring for the changes to save. And then you can go ahead and play your melody once more. So guys, this concludes some of the top 2013 lock screen tweaks for your iOS device. If you have any additional tweaks that you want to let me know, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. Anyways guys, I'll see you all in the next one.